So, um, I have been on a quest to find the perfect uh, solution for my battery for my um, fat sharks. Um, so, of course, you know, without modifying this, you do need a barrel plug and a um, two pin connector here to power your fan, which I found the fan is very, very useful. But the problem I have, of course, I have this set up and a lot of people use this on the side of their goggles. But the problem I'm having is when I have the battery on the side of the goggles, it's pushing my goggles to flatten this out on the side of my head, which in return is moving my, my center of my eyes on the lens over and which is causing blurriness for me um, on the goggles. Um, I did get me a set of diopters that do seem to help, um, uh, not with that particular issue, but help me with the screen. These are the plus twos, um, and they really, really cleared up the screen for me. Um, so, but anyways, as far as the battery solution, uh, the side of the head is not going to work. Um, um, I would like um, like one of the battery mount um, head straps that actually go in the back where you put the battery but um, so I really didn't want to uh, I really wanted to be able to use this particular um, fat shark um, holder a battery holder 18 6, uh, 18 650 battery holder um, really because I like to see the um, the LEDs there when it's full, um, and I bought a, got a little charger to charge the batteries and everything. But um, so my in my quest, um, I have um, first of all, um, I did put a, a XT60 to barrel converter um, because I do have these. Um, these uh, Skyward um, uh, extension for the battery, you know, to put it in your pocket. Um, but these Skywards are for, uh, it's got to be between 9.5 volts and 26 volts uh, LiPo input. So uh, with this full, this is only 8, um, eight volts. So I made this little adapter, and when I plug in here, because it's not over the 9.5 volts, I only get 7 volts at the end here, which in return um, tells the fat shark that the voltage is too low. So um, I devised another solution um, going off of Joshua Bardware's video where he just stepped up the voltage um, to go to the fat shark so it doesn't read as low voltage. So. I made this up right here and it's got a little Palulu in here that steps up to 12 volts and then out to XT60 to here. So I'm like, well, shoot, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'll be able to take the battery still out of here without modifying anything, still be able to utilize this. So I let my goggles, um, I plugged in here, uh, you know, of course, check the end. It is at 12 volts. Um, let my goggles run for probably 15 minutes. And well, as my surprise, this thing started getting warm. Um, it never failed out, and I think it would have worked fine. The only problem is it's draining my battery super quick. Um, going from here, 12 volts in here, stepping back down to, to 8 volts here. So, um, that's not going to work because, I mean, I literally drained this battery right here. Uh, down to from full bars to uh, one or two bars um, so uh, it just it's not going to work because I mean the whole point of the 18650s is to get a really good day of flying in so um, my solution is going to be what I knew I needed to do to begin with and that is to make my own pack <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to make me a, um, I'm going to take three of these 18650s 
um, and make a three cell um, 18650 a battery which will give me 12 volts now and actually that is going to be a uh, a really good thing for this because when this batteries when the three cells get down to past uh, 9.5 volts which a three cell these these can go down to three volts a piece so that would give you nine volts which would take me under the 9.5 volts um, which once it goes past 9.5 volts this regulator would no longer um, it doesn't step up it only steps down so and that would give me a battery alarm on my um, fat sharks which in return means I don't really need to put one of these lights on here because basically the fat charge is going to do what it's supposed to do and that is give me a low voltage uh, rating now that being said I'm still going to put a balance plug on it because I'm going to need to be able to charge it but I'll still be able to check it via the balance plug um, and I really see no need in lights um, because if I've got time to sit here and push this button to go on to lights um, to see my battery I mean it doesn't take much longer to put in a um, lipo checker checker now that being said these batteries are 2500 milliamps each so that's going to give me 7500 milliamps to power my goggles uh, which in return I mean that's going to be um, uh, uh, you know a few days flying session most likely of course there's going to have to be some testing done on that to see exactly how long um, they work but so today we are going to make up a three cell um, 18650 uh, battery for my fat sharks um, so I can put it in my pocket so we got our three batteries here um, the first thing you're going to want to do is take a good handy voltage meter here and you're going to need to check um, all of your batteries obviously the red goes on the positive and the black goes to the negative so we're gonna hit both sides here we've got 3.4 so you're gonna need to check all three of your batteries um, for that 3.4 voltage they all need to be at the same voltage uh, before you start the wiring process so they come in stored at 3.4 all of them so uh, we're good there the next thing you're gonna have to do is um, because solder won't stick to the ends very good with it being smooth you're gonna have to scratch them up with a screwdriver like this if you'll just take and just scratch them up. obviously don't do it too hard you don't want to rub all the way through the battery um, but you gotta scratch it up so that you uh, your solder has something to cling to there. And just as simple as that right there. Um, also, you know, um, when you get ready to solder these, you obviously don't want to keep the heat on them too long because uh, they are batteries and they, they could explode so that's never good especially when you're on the bench right here we go once you get some uh, solder started there uh, let it cool down and go to the next one just kind of cycle through um, your batteries um, just to give them time to cool down some. So I got just a little bit on there and I'll come and add more back to it uh, in a few minutes. Just like that. Now obviously you have to turn it over to the other side. The other side's going to be a little harder because you're because um, you're rocking there, so you may have to get some helping hands or put something in between to hold it in. Uh, but I'm going to finish getting the solder back on them all, and I will be right back. All right, so I've got all the batteries tinned on both sides here, and then I've got them taped up in the configuration that I want want them to be in. Um, 
and then I am going to uh, solder up uh, these two and I'm gonna flash a screenshot um, on the um, on the video so you can see um, uh, how these are wired up so I'm going to take um, some 18 gauge wire here um, and then I'm going to bridge these two there and then um, the opposite on the other side so let's bridge the first one first so uh, of course I'm gonna get my wire length here and then I'm going to uh, pre tin my wires wire link here and then like I said I'm gonna retain my wires and uh, then we'll get it soldered on there So you're going to need a good healthy bit of wire here because there's not going to be much um, much uh, of the the jacket here let's do it this way some helping hands Or it gets hot when it's short. So I'm going to go ahead and get them started really good here. All right, that one looks pretty good there. And then remember, we've got to do the opposite um, on the other side. So, um, and that will need to make sure. If you'll notice, these are two the same, and this one's the one opposite. We'll have to do the same thing on the other side, the opposite. So you may have to cross-reference back and forth. So we know we got to get this battery in, and then we'll go to this one right here that's the opposite of what that one is see that battery is not into anything so we need to make sure that battery goes into this section and it needs to go to the opposite so it's going to be that one right there let's go ahead and double check that we got to make sure we get this battery in and then it goes to the opposite All right, so I have this uh, old balanced lead that I cut off of a bad 3S battery, um, and because uh, these two are on the top, this uh, um, see every other one's on the top and every other one on the bottom. So um, these this bit black is going to be on the bottom. So I am going to extend uh, the black and the yellow wire. Uh, using some old used motor uh, wire cable or wire all right so I extended the two bottom wires here um, if you do happen to have color coded you can kind of look at them um, and a diagram previous in this video you can see where every other one is going to have to go to the bottom of the battery I'm um, extended and because my positive side is going to that's, that's going to be going to my XT60 is going to be on the top. Uh, that means the red is going to be able to be shorter. So, alrighty. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my XT60 on it first um, because it's going to be bigger wires. Um, I'm going to go with the 12 gauge wire for the actual um, main lead. Um, you probably don't need 14 gauge. Well, I know you don't need 14 gauge, um, but I'm going to do it for the rigidity of just, you know, always plugging this in and out. Uh, so I'm going to get a little bit tougher cable here um, on the end of the battery and that's the reason why I'm going with 14 gauge all right so I got my XT60 made up uh, I'm gonna run the ground to the bottom here uh, which is your leftover one uh, on the bottom so you've got the other two soldered together uh, so your one that's left over the bottom you're gonna put your uh, positive cable to your battery or you know for your output um, and then the other one is going to be to the leftover positive uh, on the top um, to your battery or to your uh, output. All right, so got my battery lead on there, and um, it's going to job there. Uh, and then I've got my positive on the top. Um, I did test the voltage, and we are getting 10. Point uh, something volts uh, which should be around right uh, 3.4 times 3 uh, because I have these wired up in series um, now I'm going to work on getting my balance lead all right so we got all of our balance wires on if you'll notice um, this first one on the balance leader here Let's see here uh, the first one here goes to the positive um, on the battery out the yellow one and the black one goes to the bottom and then this third one over um, goes to uh, the other top cell up here Just turn it over um, one of them goes to the actual ground and the other one goes to the other uh, line in between the two batteries All right, so the moment of truth, we're going to plug her into the balance lead. And we've got 10.62. And we're going to cycle through the cells here. 3.5, 3.5, 3 3.5. And we've got... The two difference is 0 0.019. And of course, you can change this over to lithium ion. It doesn't make a difference. Alrighty, so she's working. Alright, we're just going to make sure it works for what I want it to work for. I've got it plugged into my Skyward connector here. Just to show you that it does show 10.6 volts coming out. Then we're going to check the end of this lead here to see what we're getting. Of course, the positive is on the inside here. And we're going to check the outside. And we've got 8.2 volts. All right, so she is working. All right, so I just kind of added some uh, hot glue around it and um, trying to protect these uh, wires and stuff on the top. Um, put some glue down the sides and we'll put some more tape on it. Um, glue this up down here and um, hit it with some sh heat shrink. All right, so I've got her all together. Uh, got her shrink wrapped. Um, little color code there just for the fun of it um, basically I stick this in my pocket plug this into my fat sharks and it's gonna provide me 7500 milliamps of power um, you know I don't know exactly how long it's gonna last um, still need to charge it I'm just waiting for it to completely cool down after um, putting this um, heat shrink on there um, so, uh, my understanding is, you know, I'm just going to charge this like I'm, like I would do a lipo. Um, 
obviously on your first charge you really should watch it really 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 close I mean you're supposed to anyways but really really close um, also the way I understand uh, these uh, lithium ion batteries can be charged each one of them 0.5 um, amps 0 0.5 amps so I should be able to charge this pack with this I've got three of these batteries at 1.5 amps and uh, of course it's going to take a little while for it to charge but really you shouldn't have to charge it very often um, so yeah I'm excited about it uh, of course this is going to be in my pocket it's not going to be back behind my head uh, just for comparisons this one right here is a 2200 milliamp uh, lipo that I was using in my pocket um, 3s um, this right here is 7500 milliamps so yeah it's a little bit smaller actually for more milliamps so yeah now uh, my understanding you, you can't uh, draw current out of these very fast so that's why they kind of work with the goggles pretty easily um so yeah we'll see how it goes thanks for watching <laughs>